do 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 Oh dear, okay. That's a little better. Only a little.
again. Okay, that's a good place to do that. Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's start that now then.
do that for later. Oh, that'd be fun. That works. Okay. Okay. And to continue a little bit longer. Still trying to get to this. I got my stand. So unlike a JoJo protagonist, I don't have a stand.
done. Forgetting about the delay. Oh well. Come on, come on. There we go. What is the pressure setting? Oh, okay. That's, mm. Stomping upstairs. Ha ha ha. Oh dear. See clear up again. Seriously? Okay. No. Okay. Bum bum. No stream.
Levels. Okay, there. Test, 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 test. Alright. One of these days, I'm gonna bring my proper microphone here with me so I can sound a little better, but for now, this headphone mic will have to do. Hmm. So, if anyone's watching right now, that's. <coughs> We're currently at the pre stream where. I prep a couple of things um, before we actually do the streaming streaming. Uh, not the least of which includes my hands, arms, for basically drawing and talking for an hour. <sighs> but the last bit of chocolate must have been, it probably was a mistake. <laughs> um, I can tell you from my years of being in choir that um, chocolate and anything with milk in it like milk milkshake not exactly the greatest thing to drink before like a concert or anything involving speaking or like being active vocally for about an hour or so it's not great don't recommend it which is why there's also good to have water nearby but probably best not anywhere near the computer <laughs> In fact, let me switch this over. There we go. So, drinks over there, books over here. Everything's ready. Uh, okay, about about five minutes before we begin. Still getting used to this. Uh, what's it called the the graphic tablet here instead of my usual pen display. Uh, not because of the usual reason, but because I forgot the stand, and so it's like flat, flat. Kind of weird. Not sure I like it. Still doable though. Really focusing on my hand eye coordination. Thank you. 
we're going to start. Hello everyone, and my name is Paolo Jassa. I am the Young Adult Librarian in the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library, and today we will continue our manga drawing lessons weekly. Um, so, just to go over the manga drawing lessons um, again, um, it's a program done in the Govins. Well, done online, really, but all the stuff is being given or, uh, given from the Govins branch while supplies last. Um, and we're going to help you learn how to draw anime and manga characters step-by-step step in weekly sessions, build your binder of your um, best drawings, and become a real artist. Um, so, essentially, we give you like a binder with an intro and a pencil pouch, which has initially like some pencils and a needed eraser. Um, as we continue, um, you have more materials, that, uh, more drawing supplies that we can give you. Um, starting November and December, we'll be giving out um, journal, what's it called, uh, fine liners and um, ballpoint pens that you can use on your traditional art. And what's it called, if you'd like to do digital art, um, what's it called, we recommend Fire Alpaca. Uh, I am currently using Clip Studio Paint. And all of these lessons I'll be using are from various books, uh, specifically Mark Crowley's, I believe, which one was it? Let's see, Mark Crowley's, um, what's up, Master of Manga, which is the first six lessons. And we're going to be transferring over to um, the next book, which is actually. Um, Something I found out recently is the Tuttle T U T T T U T T L E um, publishing house um, has a new has a specialty of translating Japanese art books, Japanese manga books, uh, into English. And so these are actual Japanese manga artists whose work is being for the first time being translated into English. And one of them, which are available online, or rather, if not available online, uh, available literally in the Govins branch, you know, Crafty Library, is one called Action, uh, the Complete Guide to Drawing Action Manga. It's definitely a step up from the um, essentially very simple character drawing that we're that we've come to know, um, starting from Mark um, Mark Crowley's work. And if we go through, and so because we're already at lesson seven, we've gone through like six lessons already. That's about a month's worth of work. We're going to ramp it up a little bit. Uh, lesson seven basically starts a very simple, um, what's it called? Um, structure of the human, uh, yeah, human body. So this is very generic because it still does the male and female thing. Male, um, uh, male characters are supposed to be, um, angular and linear and female characters are supposed to be rounded and more softly curved not ne not necessarily true how it's called so keep in mind like the differences in neck shoulder blades etc and like the side and like what it looks like in the side and how notice that um you can draw a straight line towards the body but otherwise it's still like an s curve that uh, s curve uh towards everything everything else that's it from the top and bottom of the human body movement in the back, raising arms, etc. A very, very in-depth um, hand and foot um, tutorial and perspectives and how to draw in perspective and some poses using uh, perspective. Now, we're not actually going to do that today. Today, we're just going to take a very short break from the actual, like, going through, like, the books and stuff. Um, not just for, um, not just for no re, not for like no reason whatsoever. That's because I still need to go through this book in particular and see what we can glean and what we can or how I can, uh, quote unquote, teach it. It is much more complicated. It is much harder. Um, 
I, heck, I'm learning new things. And what I've learned is that when I learn enough something, learn something enough that I can teach it, I know I've learned it enough. And so I'm hoping to do that and to pass it on to you. Anyway, but we're going to take a break for that because we're going over to a new book, so to speak. Um, and if anyone wants to know about Mastering Manga uh, 2 and 3, um, which are both continuation, not continuations, more like um, spin-offs of the, what's well, called more of the same of uh, Mastering Manga 1, um, I have them both. Uh, I have them both in um, upstairs. Um, I can probably go through them again. Um, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. But, um, in essence, let's go, in essence, they're basically more of the same. Um, and it goes, you know, it gets more, a little bit more difficult. Otherwise, it's basically the same lessons again and again. Um, which is good. Repeating the fundamentals uh, helps, uh, helps people learn newer things and, you know, keeps the fundamentals fresh. But otherwise, it gets a little boring. I feel like moving on to this book might be more interesting. So, like I said, the next book we're going to go to is The Complete Guide to Drawing Action Manga um, by Shoko and Makoto Sawa. Sawa Makoto. Well, you can find this at the Enoch Craft Free Library. I'll just look for um, Action Manga, The Complete Guide to Action Manga, and we should have at least three copies three copies at least three copies probably more worst case scenario i can ask my um what's it called young adult uh selector what's it called young adult book to selector to say hey uh we need more of this manga we need this particular book etc etc um because um i don't know if you've noticed a little the peeking in the background right here is a lesson about Copic marker coloring techniques and I kind of want to get into this because one of the things we're giving away as not giving away um, one of the materials we're um, giving to um, patrons who want to participate is at least one uh, alcohol marker um, and we have like a set hopefully when COVID passes and we're all together in this big room and I'm talking to not just put people online but also like other people in the um, in the room drawing that they can also draw with the oh it's called um you can use the markers to really like draw and um color like the professionals sort of more or less anyway hmm. what we want to do today instead of going through the lessons is i need to make a title card because as it turns out, I, let's call it, all the manga drawing lessons um, videos on YouTube don't have a title card because um, I didn't ask, or rather, wasn't really allowed to ask my, uh, what's called, uh, the printing and publications folks downtown who make the really nice flyers for us, which I really do truly appreciate. Uh, we weren't allowed to ask them for like a video title card. And I'm like, okay, I draw stuff I might as well make one myself and then put it on the YouTube videos so they look a little more um official and uniform while uh in while being posted online and while I post them to uh, other places and um, advertise them um and hopefully it'll be relatively simple I think we're just going to draw like a very simple um anime character with very simple line art very simple pose um and hopefully we can get that started. I'm just moving. Getting comfy a little bit here. Okay. So. Again, this is all the details for uh, Manga Drawing Week, uh, Manga Drawing Lessons Weekly. I'm probably not going to use this dude. This is nice, but like, I want to try something else. Um, so, what I did initially was... I kind of want this in color, and I kind of want it, um, oh, I just realized there is already a color scheme here. They use this red, they use this orange, they use this yellow, they use this black, and hmm. well, howdy. Hold on, let me track something. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't realize this. They actually do have. Oh, they actually do have like a inbuilt color scheme, like right here. Neat. Maybe I can just screenshot this page and then use it as a color scheme, but it's too late. I already did the thing. So, um, we're going to start planning this drawing from the very beginning. Um, and the way I do that is, and we're going to transition over to CSP. The way I do that is I figure out like how big I want this drawing to be. YouTube thumbnails are have the 16 by 9 uh, ratio, which is either 12 uh, 1280 by 720, or um, I believe this is uh, 1600 by 900 because you know, 16, 900. Yeah, it's essentially like the movie screen aspect ratio. And so, this is how big it's supposed to be. Um, so far, it's only just one layer with the paper underneath. Um, and like there's a lot of ideas here. I think what I want to do is create a big font here that says Manga Drawing Ah uh, le Lessons And then Either like a big thing here that says Weekly Like, um <laughs> Oh no, this Oh, this reference is so old. It already has a remake, like, like Grand Theft Auto Vice City. <laughs> um, and I think I think I want to put like uh, the date here, like Tuesdays at three thirty p.m. And then the Enoch Pratt Free Library logo somewhere here. And then here we can just have a nice big drawing of uh, something. I don't know. Probably someone holding the peace sign up. Because that's fun. And then arms akimbo. And. Like the full anime hair here with various colors, what have you. Yeah. So the lettering part isn't gonna be um, isn't gonna be too bad, or rather too um, tricky, only because um, we already have some tools that we can use. Uh, but first, I kind of want to set up the um, color palette real quick, and to do that, um, rather to do that. To transition really quick. Um, if you do that, um, basically, I looked up color palette generator online. One of the first websites that came up is this thing called uh, Coolers. Um, and I'm not really good with color, I'm colorblind, it happens. But some of the trending palettes that I wanted to explore, or rather, I wanted to explore some trending palettes, and I kind of wanted to see what like a good like set of colors that we can use. And I wanted to like but specifically like a red because the Enoch Pratt Free Library has like a red background and a white foreground. And this caught my eye. <laughs> and not just because um, it's a particular uh, pride flag, but because it has like the, um, what's called pinkish white and the red, uh, two, at least two shades of red and then two shades of, um, I forget what color this is. Uh, Space Cadet, Manatee, Alice Blue, Imperial Red, and Amaranth Red, or Lipstick Red Art 329, Cool Gray, Sketch Bell Blue, and Sleet. So it's like a blue and red and a little bit of pink. Oh, I didn't know this has Copic colors. That is so, so cool. Um, again, I'm colorblind. I need to have like either the names of these colors or some sort of like reference to them because otherwise it gets really difficult. So anyway, got it. Um, I chose that. So we're gonna draw something with that color palette and 
um, essentially we already exported it. And what we can do with, um, what's it, what's it called? Uh, what's it? No. <laughs> uh, window, workspace, canvas. Where was it? I knew there was a, there was a subtool detail. But, uh, ah, Sophia. There it is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so, in. Um, am I currently in CSP? No. I look like a crazy person. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So in CSP, um, uh, Manga Studio or Clip Studio Paint, um, there is a specific view called a sub view here, which is a really really neat, and re um, and b um, allows you to open up any um, picture to use as well. Here, let me show you. Ta da! There's a palette right here, and from here, what's it called? Here, I can use this dropper tool. Uh, I can use this dropper tool to just pick the color, and then boom. Pick the color, pick the color, pick the color, pick the color. And then boom. We have what's called the various reds and stuff that we want. Now let's pick this color again. Go back to our pencil. And then, boom. You have this really nice dark red. Pick the color here. And it's a little less, uh, let's call it more pastel red. Pick the color here. We have this nice blue that contrasts well. Pick the color here. And I like this darker navy blue here that also contrasts well along with the white. Uh, so notice that, um, notice that I'm also, um, I notice that I'm also, um, what am I noticing? Oh. What am I noticing? Shoot. <laughs> so the sub palette is here. Um, this is just one layer. Um, what am I noticing? Oh, notice also that the background is not pure white. It is like a like 18% gray, only because like if you stare at like pure white on a screen for a long time, it kind of hurts your eyes. Don't like that. Anyway. Um, I might end up continuing this later because, um, I always like a project. Um, actually, before anything else, let's go ahead and save this. I don't want to accidentally... Uh... At, da, da, da. Kodawa, kodawa, kodawa. Hmm. <laughs> There we go. We're gonna have the same thumbnail, thumbnail clip. Uh, okay, whatever. Weird. It's weird, but it works. Okay. are a little smaller okay so we kind of have like an idea of what we want here now uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose um, let's pick out some fonts so that we can uh, let's pick out some fonts so we can uh, put something here to do uh, transitioning over to this um, I think it was word mark yep word mark it so, um, I'm also showing you a lot of really neat um, online tools that you can use for your projects and stuff, especially if you're using digital art, and specifically if you're using digital art. Uh, let's go ahead and put in uh, Mega Drawing Lessons. So, 
these are all the fonts that I keep inside my um, inside my computer computers really I really like them um, what's it called oh layo bold italic uh, you know let's do alpha bell slab one Ooh, we'll do that later uh, we'll do that for like the weekly thing here but I really like alpha slab one oh, let's go down show more fonts to see if there's any ones that I like the other ones that I like. Oh, this is always fun. Ooh, this one's fun. Kilogram. Uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do Megapolis Extra, and I think. A mighty zeo 2.0 for the weekly so here's what we're gonna do okay transitioning back this is something that's relatively easy so we're gonna do it first so we're gonna choose our font which is it's not tahoma um what was it i was just looking at it uh oh megapolis one moment So notice it creates an entirely new, um, what's it called? Entirely new, um, layer for this, which is good. We're going to go ahead and put in. Adjust that, justify it in the middle. Right there. Maybe we can put it down here. Yeah, yeah. What? Oop. Don't want to do that. Oops. What color do we want this? I think we want this to be red. There we go. And I think I have the kerning. I don't want to skew it too much. Keep it. Let's see. I kind of want to keep it long like this. Maybe we need a bolt in it. it but oh. oh no it's too much oh no the G the G oh, the G the one starting with A. Slab one. There we go. There we go. I actually wanted this one a little bit more. And I 
actually fits a little better. What's it called? Next might be a little bit more. The dreams. character spacing. There we go. There we go. The dreams. There we go. We're going to do something called rasterizing it. And so we're going to right click over here, 
duplicate the layer, turn it off on one side so we can just keep a copy, and then uh, rasterize it. What rasterizing do makes it into like a, you know, just a regular layer. But what that can do is we can do this. <laughs> uh, cancel. I think we just need to free transform it. So it looks like Something made very quickly in Photoshop. <laughs> uh, ah, yeah, yeah. This is already very strange, but I like it. <laughs> we should probably put a fun gradient in the background too, but for now we're gonna focus on the fonts. Oh, four o'clock already, heavens. I haven't even done the drawing yet, oh no. It's almost as if um, graphic design involves a lot more on the other side. Uh, other side of drawing, huh? Up, up, up. Let's look at more fonts. Um, hmm. Hmm, excuse me. Oh, you know what? Let me try something. your own
No. This is fine. Okay. Go back up and put in Tuesdays. it again. FS. Okay. Uh, let's have this as a different shall we? because it is Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m. Oop, another one. We're good. Yeah, let's see. I know... Photoshop and other Adobe products usually have a better, uh, what's it called, text editor than Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint's really good at drawing and painting and all the other stuff, but for graphic design like this, it does, it's a little slow. It's not great. But, um, essentially this is just the process I use with the tools I have at this point. Yeah, when you have a hammer, everything does look like a nail. 
Either way. Let's see now. I need to find a copy of the Pratt logo. I feel like. Huh. Actually. I'm gonna see if I can find a copy of the Pratt logo by going through my works. Oh, there it is. Do I have this? MDL Tales and Tales. No, I don't. How strange. Oh, it's probably because I only put it at home. Kind of makes sense. Is let's hope my computer didn't just crash. Oh, the mouse is out of batteries. Rough times, bro. the kitty. Kitty. What's this? Oh. Alright, we're just gonna copy this. Uh, we're gonna control copy. Back to this thing. dead again. Oh dear. I'm gonna go click here, paste, and then boom. <laughs> I just realized it's not the exact red I'm looking for, looking to, so... Let's... Let's do a little... I'm going to... Just... Quickly... Change the shade of red...
<laughs> kind of added like a 3D flare to it. <laughs> okay, that's not that. We have fun here. We have fun here. Uh, okay, I think we just add the... Uh, what's it called? A very slight border effect. Like full red. Nope, bad. Uh. There it is. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see, and then now we can just add like our drawing here. The very bottom of it all. Uh, oh, it's already 416. I'm gonna create ink and put another drawing in less than an hour. Oh dear. Oh, it's, this is fine. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. First things first, let's save this real quick. Oh, it's a bad that in my mouse is dead. Long live my mouse. Yeah, it's a foot from my mouse, just went kaput. Oh well. Okay, so. <clears throat> we are quite literally just halfway done through this thing. Um. I wonder. I wonder if giving a uh, border effect is too much. Here it is. Yeah, it was too much. This is fine. There we go. Now that this looks a little bit more um, nice. Uh, I feel like we need to uh, have something in the background just to show as a, um, what's it called? Just to show as a, um, let's go, a place filler for now. We're not gonna be able to make our, uh, what's it called? Our thing in the time allotted. I might have to do that um, in my own time. Let's see. Are licensed. I 
can't use that in a video. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, that very much is, um, that. I know. Okay. Let's see if we can open this. Anime girl with surprised face. Dot PNG. Oh, yeah, well, that's exactly what it says on the tin. Okay. So, click on this layer, copy it. Go, not to this one. We can turn this off. Uh, no, do not save. Just copy and paste this layer here. Oh, no, it's gigantic. It's gigantic. Oh no, it's gigantic, and it's got a background. <sighs> so this is basically what I wanted anyway. Uh, which is, this is fine. This is fine. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. Size and rotate it. So that... Gosh darn. Oh, it is, it is just like that. Okay. It's frustrating, but otherwise not unsurprising. Alright. We're gonna do... Auto select and the okay, good very much. It's gonna auto delete that. Delete perfect. Move you. Nope, that's what I not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. <clears throat> that's not what I want. No, that is not what I want either. What the heck? You gone. Okay. So this is basically what we're aiming for in terms of, like, the Mac Drawing Weekly type thing. Nope. Oh, uh, we'll draw our version of that. That's not so... lifeless. Um, and then just replace it with that. And with the colors, of course, because this does not match this color scheme at all. But for now, I have been talking for about almost an hour and 11 minutes, and that's a lot. So, essentially that's the design process, or at least my design process. Um, a very, very quick sketch, because I already have of something in mind since I've done this before. Um, a lot of frustrating looks at uh, fonts and stuff, and, well, this for now. I think I'll fix this at home. Poor anime girl's vacant stare as she looks into the future. It's a, little, it's a little upsetting. It's a little upsetting. <laughs> yeah, but it works. It'll work as a placeholder for now. I'm gonna go ahead and just like um, upload it into the cloud. Or rather upload it into my like uh, cloud for um, my Clip Studio Paint thing, and then so I can work on it properly at home uh, with a little bit more practice and better inking because this poor child. Okay. Let me go ahead and make sure that I'm actually doing that. So we'll save it here. We'll also save this because it's just manga drawing only live. And then we're gonna go. Uh, just call it a day. Transfer. Oh, nope, my mouse is dead. Long live my mouse. Okay, just 
gonna go ahead and mix it out of here. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it out here. Growing lessons. That's not what I want. Okay, back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch to syncing. And so we can sync this. Um, and I think it should be syncing now. Uploading it to the cloud. Two megabytes. Wild. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Um, you've been um, going in for about an hour and a bit. If oh, nope, stream end. Okay, so like I've said before, um, this was what's cool. This was Mango Drawing Lessons Weekly from the Govins Branch of the Enoch Craft Free Library. I have been Paolo Jasa. What? I have been Paolo Jasa, and I hope that you'll find this. Um, I hope you found this fun. We'll see you next week, um, and hopefully we'll get started on. Uh, no, you can't see my face. It's on the um, stream ending thing. But the complete guide to drawing action manga, a step-by-step -step artist handbook by Shoko and Makoto, Saka, uh, Makoto Sawa. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now.